Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. In today's video, I'll be using Honeybee Stamps Homestead Harvest Paper Pad, their Fall Leaves 3D Embossing Folder, Lovely Layers Wood Vase Die Set, Lovely Layers Autumn Bouquet Die Set, and for a sentiment, I have their Heartfelt Hello Stamps and Coordinating Honeycut Dies. I've already gone ahead and embossed this beautiful pattern paper, and I want the design to pop just a little bit more, so I'm adding Honeybee Stamps Metallic Gold Ink. I'm just lightly brushing it on the embossed areas. Once I add the metallic ink, the berries and the detail on the leaves are really starting to shine. The designs in the paper pad are just gorgeous. It looks beautiful with or without the extra ink. I'll layer this piece on some dark brown cardstock. The embossed background is four inches by five and a quarter inches, and my brown cardstock layer is an additional eighth of an inch. So four and one eighth of an inch by five and three eighths of an inch. If you prefer a wider matting, you could add an additional fourth of an inch. I'll put ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base, leaving eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. All of my cards in this video are American Standard A2 size, four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. Now I'll start working on the wood vase. I cut it out of the same dark brown cardstock I used for the background, and I wanna add just a little extra color to the edges. I'm using Catherine Pooler's Icing on the Cake ink color. I'm adding ink on the sides, bottom of the vase, and also the top. There's one other piece included in the Lovely Layers wood vase set. It's probably meant for the very top, but I decided to use it and I'll adhere it in place with some glue. I'm making sure not to cover up the cutout area. That way I'll still be able to tuck all the foliage pieces inside the wood vase. I've already gone ahead and cut out all of the foliage pieces. I use craft cardstock for the wheat stalks, a dark teal cardstock for the leaves, light teal cardstock for the little branches on the cotton, and some white pearlescent cardstock for the cotton pieces. I'll put glue on the back of the areas of the cotton stem, and then add that cotton fluff behind. I've already assembled the second stem with the cotton pieces. Now I'll start tucking all the foliage pieces inside the wooden base. I'm starting with the left side. I'll put two of the wheat stalks, one of the branches, and one of the cotton pieces inside. I'm trying to space them out so they're not completely clumped together. Before adding the pieces on the right side of the vase, I'll first flip over the vase, put a small piece of double-sided adhesive tape on the back. That way the first set of foliage pieces don't move. Now I'll start tucking in the pieces to fill the right side of the vase. I have another set of leaves, two more pieces of the wheat stalk, and one more cotton branch. I'm trying to put the wheat stalks at different heights, so some of them I'm tucking a little farther into the vase, others will stick up more. I'm overlapping different foliage pieces. Once I'm happy with the placement, I'll flip it over, put more double-sided adhesive tape on the back side, and that'll help hold all the different foliage pieces in place. I'll remove the release paper. Now I'll add some thin foam dimension on the back of the vase. I'm using Honeybee Stamps black foam strips. Make sure to get good coverage on the back of the vase. I'll remove the release paper and adhere the vase more on the right side of the card. Before adhering it down, I will put a little bit of glue behind some of the foliage pieces. Then I'll press it in place. Now I'll add a little more glue behind some of the front foliage pieces. I'm leaving the very top area without adhesive. That way I can curl them up for more dimension. I've already gone ahead and stamped out the sentiment, I love fall most of all. Now I'll use the coordinating die tape it in place with some tacky tape. I'll pull out Honeybee Stamps Bitty Buzz Cutter. I love the small size of the die cut machine. It's a perfect size for my craft table and it works great when I'm cutting out just small pieces like sentiments. 
I'll remove the tacky tape and pop out the sentiment. I love that Honeybee Stamps has dies to coordinate with their sentiments. Using the outline die, I cut out a second piece from some light brown pearlescent cardstock. I'll put glue on the back of the sentiment and adhere the two pieces together, creating just a small drop shadow underneath the sentiment. Half of the sentiment will be sitting on the wood vase. For the area that isn't, I'm putting some foam dimension on the back side. I have some thin foam squares. To fit on the tiny areas, I will cut some of the squares in half. I'll remove the release paper and put barely art glue on the area that sits on the wooden vase. For embellishments, I'm using the Homestead Harvest Gem Stickers, the brown color. I'll put three in the lower left-hand corner around the sentiment and two in the upper right-hand corner. They do have adhesive on the back, but I'm adding a small drop of Barely Art glue since I'm adhering them on an embossed background. It's never fun to pull out a card to send to somebody and you realize the embellishments have fallen off. I have just one final gem sticker to it here. I'll press all of those in place. And since Honeybee Stamps has the larger paper pad, I figured I may as well make two cards and use up that full pattern paper sheet. Then I also used another pattern paper from the same collection and made two more cards. The Homestead Harvest paper pad is filled with beautiful designs. It's really hard to choose a favorite. I only have a few sheets left in mine. It's a good thing I have a second paper pad. If you are interested in any of the products I used in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. Honeybee Stamps Heartfelt Harvest Release has so many fun products. It's hard to believe, but their Christmas release is coming out in just a few weeks. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.